guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lindy, if you're new here, AKA Paleo Barbie. Um, this is gonna be a grocery haul today and uh, be from a few different stores, Sam's, Aldi, uh, a couple things from a local store and Sprouts. So stick around and let's see what we got. All right, so this is our Sam's haul. We picked up some steaks to grill. They always have really great uh, prices on steaks compared to the grocery store, and they always have nice steaks too. So, we always pick up a couple of those. Uh, we've got some LaCroix. As usual, we got three different ones two of this one, and then this one. Um, we got some of the uncured Black Forest ham, some tomatoes. We didn't need spinach this time, so we didn't grab that. Got some of the Palmetto uh, Pimento cheese, home style some rows, two jars of that. This is always such a good deal. So you can get two of these at Sam's for about the price that you pay for one at the grocery store. We got some more real bacon bits. These are great for all kinds of things. Picked up a rotisserie, which we're actually gonna eat tonight. Um, some Parmesan cheese. He got himself some dry roasted peanuts. There's the other LaCroix. And toilet paper. So this was about $160 haul today from Sam's. All right, from a local store, we got three, four packs of the Two Good Yogurt, uh, two of the vanilla and one of the strawberry. This is for my husband to eat and also for the grand granddaughter because she likes it as well. All right, guys, this is my haul from Sprouts. This is a $100 haul um, plus a couple bottles of wine included in that. And we got uh, some calf liver because I haven't made this in a while and I wanted to get, make me some liver pate. Uh, it's hard to find at stores around here. Uh, Walmart will have it every once in a while, but they always have it at Sprouts, so I'll get it there. Some more anchovies, some toasted sesame oil, and I got the Tess Mays dressing this time because it was a whole lot cheaper than both the one I've been getting and um, the Primal Kitchen. It's not as good as ingredients as Primal Kitchen, but it's still pretty good. Um, and I'll, so I use this every so often just because I really like this one the cilantro uh, lime ranch, and it's really yummy. So I'm gonna get that one this time, well, just so also I don't get sick of the same thing. My granddaughter specifically requested the purple box of Annie's, so I got them a couple boxes of these. They were on sale for 99 cents this week, which is a good deal. Some organic strawberries that looked really great this week. Um, a lot of times the organic ones you'll seem to not be so good here lately, but these look really good. Um, some good culture cottage cheese. Some of the Hatch Chili Chicken Sausage Links. Some of the Bitchin' Sauce. They were, again, they were out of the cilantro lime. So I, I mean, they were out of the Chipotle, so I went for the cilantro lime, but this one is really good too. Some of the Kiss My Keto Granola for my yogurt. Some more of the 0% Fage. Some Lily's Chocolate Chips, because I have like a quarter of a bag left and it's been in there a while and I think it's kind of ready to be thrown away. It doesn't look that great, so I wanted to pick some up to do some baking. Got some chorizo and some smoked gouda with bacon and some of the Dublinder um, cheese because we're going to do a charcuterie board tonight. Got some of the cinnamon swirl nut pod. They were out of the pumpkin one. I was sad, but that's all right. I knew that was going to happen. And some of the hazelnut. And then I got three of the Zevia energy drinks. So these are my groceries from Sprouts. Tomorrow I'm going to be hitting Aldi. All right, guys, this is my Aldi haul. We just got back. We've got a frozen raw shrimp and a frozen cooked shrimp. These were in this sale this week. Um, two ground turkeys, some chicken breasts, two of those, some pork chops, a whole bunch of the grass-fed ground beef, some variety of different sliced cheeses, some cheese cubes for my husband to snack on. We got two, uh, three packs, I mean, of the no sugar bacon, some chicken thighs, with the skin on this time, because they didn't have the others. Uh, some tilapia. They were also out of salmon, so we didn't get that. We got roast. They were also out of chicken uh, breast tenderloins or strips, whatever you want to call them. They've been out of a lot lately, so I don't know why. Um, but anyway, we also got a roast, some green beans and some mustard, some 100% pumpkin to make some baked things out of this week, some protein shakes for my husband, and some mustard. Uh, his bars and then we got some cumin because I was out of that Peter butter crackers for the kids and pepitas for his yogurt and salads, etc 
also picked up another LaCroix because they actually had one that had the coconut in it, and that's our absolute favorite. Um, and the Sam's one never has coconut, so we wanted to get that. Uh, we got some avocados, celery, a couple of cucumbers, some pecans for some baking, some almond milk and butter. And then for some other vegetables, we got some regular coleslaw and then the chopped salad because I use this for my Asian tuna salad. I just throw out the packet and use that. Um, and then there's some zucchini, some romaine lettuce, and some mushrooms. And that is our haul. It was about $100 this time, and they were out of stuff, too. And I've noticed that every time we go, it seems like all of um, prices of everything go up. But um, they were also out of guac, which we got at Sam's this past time. Um, but they keep running low on that, too. So I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, that is our Aldi haul. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a... Uh, comment down below and please like and subscribe down below also if you haven't already it really helps out my channel and I'm trying to make it grow so let's go <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in the next video